Hello everyone, this is Melanie and I'm here today to discuss diamond paintings with you. So basically, what I wanna do is just make this an intro to diamond paintings and what they are, how they work, a um, little bit about different types of diamond paintings. So if you are new to diamond painting or you've seen it and you are interested in trying it for the first time, hopefully this video will give you some information on how to get started. So you can see right now I'm in progress on a diamond painting. I have been doing diamond paintings for about, ooh, I don't know, pretty much since they started coming out, like I started seeing the ads about a year ago. And I've gotten some from places like AliExpress or Wish. That's how I started. And I do want to give you a little advice on starting with those, but I will say this, since you have never tried it, your best bet is to purchase from a cheaper place um, to start with. Because if you don't like it, then what have you got to lose, right? You've lost maybe six bucks, eight bucks, 10 bucks, something like that. Now, Amazon does have some, and that's a good place to start if you're a Prime member especially, because you can get them pretty quickly in most cases. Um, a lot of the companies on there are, are pretty good. So, having said that, Let's discuss what we need to do to diamond paint. So what comes in a kit are something called drills. Now drills will come in packages like this. They'll have enough of each color to cover all of the pieces that are of that particular color. On the side of your canvas, depending on the company, there is something called a schematic. And this is where this is where you're gonna get the information about what color needs to go where. So for those of you who've ever cross-stitched or done paint by number or something like that, the concept is the same. Your canvas is marked with a letter, a symbol, a number, something like that, which will correspond with your schematic and tell you which color you need to use. So in this case, A is what this blue color is here. I would go over here to my canvas, to my schematic, and see that A is color number 3846. Now, if I'm new to this and I haven't purchased containers to store my uh, drills in, then I'm gonna have a bag and I'm gonna open the bag and I'm gonna pour it into a little tray like this just a little bit at a time. You wouldn't empty the whole bag. And then if I need to save this bag, I would put this probably down in another Ziploc bag, maybe fold it over to save it to make sure they don't spill. But let me just show you today how you actually diamond paint. So I'm gonna turn my light on here. Hopefully this doesn't glare too much on the, on the plastic. But when you have your start, this particular one is from Diamond Art Club. So it has a clear plastic coating on it, which is really nice. So you can see where you're working, you can see where you've been kind of thing. So what you'll do is you'll lift up your plastic. Now be careful because the back side of the plastic will stick to your adhesive. I don't care what company it is, whatever it is on the back, it will stick to the adhesive. So you wanna make sure you're folding it back. You do not want this, piece, this backing to touch this adhesive at any time. So I'm gonna pull it up to an area where I want to work. I'm going to pull it a little further. I don't want it too far. I want to protect my canvas because there is adhesive on this entire thing. Dust, debris, crumbs, anything like that could stick to this and it's going to affect my overall end result. So basically I'm protecting anything that I have not put diamonds on yet in the meantime until I get to that section. So what you'll do then is you will pick up your tool in most cases, diamond paintings come with the tool, they come with the tray, and they might be a little different than the ones that I have here, but they will have a tray and they will have a tool. This particular one from Diamond Art Club is a little better than the ones that you get in most kits because it's got this little rubberized grip, which is extremely comfortable when you're sitting here and you're doing diamond painting for hours, which you will do once you start, you will be addicted. I'm gonna turn on my light here. Let's see if this blinds us a little bit. All right. This is an Ot light. I've had it for about 20 years for my crafting room. It is, I think, getting a little dim on me. All right, so 
when you have your tool, you're also gonna have wax. Wax comes with your kit. You peel it back, you take the tool, you push it down into the wax. The wax fills up into the tip and that makes it sticky. Not super sticky, but enough for it to pick up a drill and put it into place. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and prepare to put down some drills. This has a round drill and I will show you. This is the one we're gonna be using. This particular color is number 130, which is over here on my schematic. Number two is 130, is the DMC color, which means it's a color that almost all diamond paintings work with, which means if I wanna use 150 on another project from this company, that it should be the same color, as long as it's a round uh, drill canvas for the other color, it should work with it because they're supposed to be a kind of a universal color palette, I guess I should say, because DMC is the company. So anyway, these yellow ones I'm gonna pour here. So I'm just gonna pour a little pile on my tray. Now these are called Aurora Borealis. Most diamond paintings don't come with Aurora Borealis. What that means is this has a special glitter to it. Let's see if you can see that. I don't know if you see that little extra layer of glitter. It gives it some extra shine once the piece is completed. But what I do is I shake my tray back and forth. Let me cover this up so if I spill any, they're not gonna stick to my canvas. You just gently shake back and forth and then slide side to side and then back and forth. And if I get too many in here, it kind of piles up over here in the corner. Um, I think the Aurora Borealis don't seem to fit in my tray like the other ones do. They don't seem to scoot <laughs> for whatever reason. But anyway, you see how they're kind of lined up nicely? This makes it easier for me to work with. So now what I'll do is I'll pull back my plastic and I'm gonna go to the section with number two right over here. And I'm gonna take the tip of my tool, dot it onto a drill, and then take it over here and push it down onto a number two. And I totally just got that backwards. It's actually so overcast today that I don't have a lot of natural light and it's not very bright. So y'all bear with me. But this is basically the gist of it. So you see, all you have to do is take that and push it into place. Now, when you push it into place, it sticks to the adhesive. If you've got a really good adhesive canvas, high quality canvases will have great adhesive. The one from Diamond Art Club, the ones that I'm using right now, this is called I Miss You. Um, it is fabulous, but the, the canvas is a great texture. The adhesive is very sticky, but forgiving. So I like working with these particular ones. I'm willing to pay a lot more for these particular ones because first of all, they're huge in most cases. They're super good quality. I don't have to wait a week or two or three, even a month to get my item. And um, so, and I'm not a rep or anything of Diamond Art Club. I'm just a huge fan. So basically, once you're putting your drills into place, you're just pressing and they're staying there because the adhesive is stickier than your wax. So the Aurora Borealis sometimes can be a little trickier only because they do have the glitter. So you just wanna make sure that you're getting a good tack on it to get it in place. And that's it, you guys, that is it. So once I get all of my twos done here and I won't make you sit here and watch that, then what I will do as I move to the next color. So I've got some little gaps in here of a couple colors, like this is a V, there's a couple in here. I would fill this. I personally like to start at the bottom and work left to right or right to left. Um, if you're right-handed, you can start in the bottom right corner. What you don't want is your hand in the adhesive. So if I start over here, I just have to pull back plastic. Let me show you. So I don't wanna, I just would pull back enough plastic to reveal this corner, right? But if I start over here, my hand, because I'm right-handed, is gonna be moving this way, which is kind of weird for us as English people that we do left to right, but either way, um, you would start here and work in this direction. And that way your hand is moving across and you're laying on drills instead of on adhesive. So that's just a tip that I use. Um, you could start at the top, you can start at the right side. It's wherever you feel inspired to start. Sometimes I will start where there's a lot of color because that keeps me excited and interested in what I'm doing. And I'm ADD, so you know, I like to keep my attention span going. But you can see I've worked on a pretty good bit of this. 
This is a time consuming little art, but it is so fun to do. It is so therapeutic. It is so zen, as I like to call it. Um, it just lets your mind stop racing for a while. Now I'm gonna be adding lots of videos using Zen art, what I call Zen art, Zen tangling, uh, diamond painting, paint by numbers. Um, I've just gotten the materials to do some dot mandala painting. So I'm excited about doing that. But those are things I wanna share with you guys because everybody needs downtime. Everybody needs decompression in their life. I don't care how busy, how many kids, whatever you've got going on, it's nice to have something that you look forward to doing every single day or every few days that is not super expensive, but just gives you your mental therapy. So that's what diamond painting is to me. Uh, I hope this, this helped you to get started. I will put some links in for some uh, websites in the bottom, in the description. For Diamond Art Club, I actually have a referral that if you use that referral link, it gives us both, um, gives you 10% off. I think it gives me 10% off and it gives me the rewards points, which are nice because I actually cashed in some rewards points recently and got a $50 diamond painting for free. So I just paid the shipping on it because um, it was a $56 piece with shipping. But I was super excited. And then I'm also gonna put you a link for a couple of other places that I have tried and have been pretty happy with. They are not gonna ship as fast, but they do have good quality paintings. Um, some are pretty reasonably priced. So I will give you that information. If I have a link or a referral or anything or a coupon or something like that, I will put it in the bottom as well. If you will do a search, a lot of times you will find really good coupons for um, all of these companies. Okay. So I hope you guys will follow me in the future and subscribe to my channel so you can learn more about the different types of diamond paintings. You'll get to see me do beginning and end diamond paintings. I will be doing some tools and some other videos with lots of information about what to use, what's the most effective, efficient way, and hopefully you'll join me for that. But don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys as always for watching and goodbye.